good morning or good afternoon or good evening, whichever one you want. So, I did the Jasmon deck, and since I realized I'm going to be doing revisions of it through the BT6 and EX1 series, that I would just go ahead and just keep showing off more and more of the decks that I have. So deck profile number two is going to be my version of Gabu Bond. This is definitely going to go through revisions, uh, especially after I get the stuff from EX1 that I would like to have my hands on. So, first of all, there are supposed to be four Upamons, with the effect that if I'm attacking, there's Digimon no source, you get to draw one. They are apparently camera shy today. I've been trying to flatten all my cards, so I have no clue where they are right now. They definitely didn't need to be flattened. They were in great condition. It was the rest of this deck that needed that kind of attention. So let's just go for the rest of it. So for my rookies, I run four of the draw one Gobblemons. I run four of the BT6 Gobblemon. I'll, I'll level with you. I got three of the field um, alt arts, but I don't have four yet, so I don't want to re-sleeve these all to the field one until I have that. Uh, two great effects on this card. First one is if there's a Matashita that gets played by me, I gain a memory. Now, it could be in my security, or I could play it from my hand, but I'll, I'll gain right then. And then it's inheritable. This is the reason that you run this at all. If it has Bond of Friendship in its name, you can unsuspend it. So you can get three attacks with Bond of Friendship instead of the standard two. If you have Tamer, which is pretty much a guarantee in this deck. I run four Strabi Mons for two reasons. First one is I can search for a hybrid off the top of my deck. This will get me my champions. And then also it'll get me blue Tamers in my hand, which will get me my Mats and my Davises. I run two of the promo dash bag Goblin Mons. I would like to take it to four, but I don't have four yet. I'm only got three. Its effect is reveal the top five cards of your deck, add a tamer to your hand, put the bottom, put the rest on the bottom. Pretty standard. I run two Madoki Betamons. Um, I think this is just going to be a crucial card as you keep going. Siakam one might be more necessary um, as we get closer to BT seven, but we're not there yet. So they can't gain memory unless it's with the tamer's effect. For my champions, uh, I'm going to actually do this in a little bit different order. I usually go from my highest number to my lowest. I run two Kendo Guru Um for the main reason that I can Digivolve over a Tamer. And then when I attack, I can return a rookie to my opponent's hand. So it's nice to get rid of in the mirror match. If they bring up a Gobumon, but they don't Digivolve it into the Bond, then I'll return it when I attack with Kendo on my next turn, if I'm ever so lucky. I run four of the... Um, blue Tamer Lobomons. I only have one alt art. That's the reason why it's not a stack of them. Um, I don't think I ever want to get the alt art full playset though. I'd have to pull them. I wouldn't just buy them. I run four of the promo Lobomon, where I can digivolve into an ancient Garurumon for one cost, but then I have to delete it at the end of the turn. And that is a great segue into four ancient Garurumons. Two effects. You can unsuspend up to two of your Metal Garurumon or hybrids. This is great for Lobamon, Lobamon, and Kendo, because they're all hybrids. Also works for Strabimon, but chances of Strabimon surviving is just kind of ridiculous. And then when he's deleted, which will happen at the end of your turn because of Lobamon's effect, you can play a level 4 lower Digimon with hybrid in its form from your hand at the pain's cost. So again, that's going to be my Lobomons, not my promo Lobomons my kendos and my strawbies. Ideally it's gonna be strawby. I'm gonna start the whole loop up again. Uh, for level sevens I only play four. <laughs> it's the one that matters. I have uh, two alt arts. I don't want to change this until I have all four. Which they're on their way. Thank you um, host for helping me get that last one. So two deals when attacking. If you have a tamer you can unsuspend this guy. And then when you attack return one of their level five or lower Digimon at the bottom of their deck. This is great for removing blockers or obstacles that could screw you up in other ways. So like uh, Gauzymons, Madoki Betamons, stuff like that. Uh, my options and tamers are a little bit more than I'd like to run, but I also get why I do. So I'm running uh, three Davises, so I can set my memory to three, reveal the top three cards and add a green, green or blue. Obviously this is an all blue deck, so yeah, that's a great effect. Let's me search. I run four mats. You got the effect of if I bring up a Gabumon or a Gururumon from my breeding area, gain a memory and draw a card. The only exception to this that you would think shouldn't be an exception is Kendo Gururumon. 
he does not trigger his effect. It's just because his name in Japanese it is, doesn't contain Garurumon in it. Um, so yeah, there's my mats. Um, for option cards, I run four Kakaida's Breaths. I think it's just necessary to run four at this point in time. That's probably going to change when Ice Wall becomes available in EX1, but for now, it's going to stay at four. I run three Hammer Sparks. I'd like to bring this up to four, but then that would mean I'd probably have to pitch um, a Tamer or a Kakaidas, and I don't see the point in doing either of those things. And then two Blue Memory Boosts. So, this also lets me search for a Blue Digimon by looking at the top four cards in my deck, and then I can gain two Memory later on. So really, I'm only paying one Memory, even though it feels bad initially. This uh, deck is going to go back into the Flattening Chamber for a bit. I'm hoping it looks better. I think it looks way better. Uh, I don't know if you can see the bend in that. It was a lot more prominent even like four days ago. So uh, thanks to Laz for that tip. Okay, next deck profile. I think I'm going to go either purple or yellow. We'll see. I still got to kind of sit down and theorycraft it. And I want to try and make something that's not on the Digimon meta website. That is very hard because I do like reading up on there a lot and researching a lot so cutting myself off from that it's gonna be very hard this time but i'm gonna try it Let's see what i come up with thanks for checking this out till next time